So this video <coughs> will show how to set up multiple radio links on Rabi. First, we have a simple Pi. It's just a single radio and the controller with a single receive interface. Everything is default settings, so let's just make it a little bit more visible. Let's show some statistics to be able to see what's going on. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see, we have a single radio link that receives everything data, video, and everything that's inverted actually oh, it's bad okay so this is default installation we have a single radio interface on the transmitting one and a signal radio interface on the receiver now let's add some more so i have added one more receiving interface so now transmitting interface so now we have two one and two and also on the controller we have one more receiving interface so on controller we also have two interfaces now if we look we are still using a single link on 5 gigahertz and we have now two receiving interface both on the same frequency now let's enable multi-link so we go to the vehicle there are radio links and now we can see that on the transmitting side we have two links that we can configure so by default the second one is disabled let's just enable it for data and let's just put on a different frequency let's say this one okay so now we actually have two radio links between the vehicle and controller so as you can see here one it's receiving video at five megabytes megabits per second and one it's receiving only data which is just a little bit and now on the osd we do see the both radio links and the quality and now we can actually do whatever combination we want so let's say this one to be used only for video and this one let's separate it a little more let's actually take it to 2 gigahertz band okay and now as you can see we have a link on 5g and a link on 2g and it's updated everywhere and everything still works just fine so that's pretty much it to enable multi-link you just need to use multiple radio interfaces and then you can do any combination you wish have fun so one thing I forgot is that of course you can set both links to be used for everything so now you would really have dual links for everything so let's say you have interferences on 5 gigahertz then you would still have a, a good link on two 
2 gigahertz and vice versa so sorry for all the shaking I'm not used with this YouTube stuff have fun and yeah you can go to advanced settings of course and you can actually change the data rate and everything if you have a booster on one link you can disable receiving on that and so on okay